So a little while ago, I made a video covering the process of playing Game Boy games on the TI-84 Plus CE. The Game Boy emulator I used in the video, TI Boy CE, has recently had a big update, allowing you to now not only play Game Boy games, but Game Boy Color games as well. This means that you can now play newer games such as Pokemon Crystal and Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. The process hasn't changed too much, but I decided to take this opportunity to make a better video, explaining some of the stuff I didn't cover very well in the last one. Let's begin! First, obviously, you'll need to have a TI-84 Plus C or TI-83 Premium CE graphing calculator. The Python versions will work as well. If you have a different calculator, TI Boy CE might not work on it. You may be able to find other tutorials online covering your specific calculator depending on the model. However, for today, I'm only talking about the TI-84 Plus CE and 83 Premium CE families. Next, let's check the OS version of the calculator. In OS versions after 5.5, TI has removed support for assembly programs, meaning that you'll need to install a jailbreak called Artifice in order to use TI Boy. If your OS version is 5.4 or earlier, this isn't necessary, so you can skip the next section of the video. To install Artifice, go to yvantt.github.io slash ar capital TI lowercase fi capital CE. The capitalization of the link is important, so I'll put it in the description as well, along with any other links I mention later in the video. Download the Artifice AppFar and Cabri Jr. application from the links on the website, then send them to your calculator using a linking program of choice. I'll use TI Connect CE since that's what most people will probably be using. Once you've sent both files to your calculator, open the Apps menu. Find and launch Capri Jr. from the Apps list, and open Artifice by selecting the app var in the Open list. It will open the Artifice shell, which you'll need to use to run any assembly programs in the future. Once Artifice is installed, I'd recommend installing a shell called Cesium by Mateo Conlechuga and a program called ASM Hook by Jacob Lee. With these installed, the process of running assembly programs is much easier and won't involve needing to open the Artifice shell anymore in the future. I'll put the links to both Cesium and ASM Hook in the description as well. Now that you've ensured your calculator can run TI Boy CE, let's move on to the fun part, installing the games. The first thing you'll need to do is download the latest version of TI Boy CE from the TI Boy CE website. Navigate to the releases page and select the top version in the list. Follow the links to the GitHub page and download the release zip. In this specific situation, you'll be looking for the top file, not one of the ones named source code. Once the file is downloaded, extract the zip and send tiboyce, tiboydat, and tiboyskin to your calculator using a linking program of choice. Again, for this video, I'll be using TIConnectCE, which, if you don't already have, you can download from TI's website, link in the description as well. Once the files are on your calculator, get your ROM files for whatever games you want to install. The legal way to do this is to dump them yourself from game cartridges, but if you don't want to or can't do that, there are ways to get them which I can't really go into because Nintendo will get mad at me and take down the video and yeah, that's not good. So, it shouldn't take too long either way. Once you have your ROM, go to the TI Boy CE website again and open the ROM converter menu. Upload your ROM file and follow the instructions to convert it. You can download a bundle file or download the files individually or in a zip. You can repeat this process for any other Game Boy or Game Boy Color ROMs you want to use as well. Once your converted ROM is downloaded, open your linking program again. Send the bundle or the individual files to the calculator. Make sure that they are sent to the archive. If you encounter an error telling you that you don't have enough storage, consider deleting a few programs or apps you don't use. Once the files are on the calculator, it's time to launch the game. If you have an OS below 5.4 or you've installed Artifice and ASM Hook, you can open the programs menu and select TI Boy CE. If your OS is 5.5 or greater and you've installed Artifice but not ASM Hook, you'll need to open the Artifice shell, or Cesium if you've installed it, and run the program from there. Either way, once you've ran the program, you should now see a menu with whatever ROMs you've sent to the calculator. Select the ROM you wish to load and hit enter. The game should have begun. In order to play, you'll need to know the controls. Second corresponds to the A button on a Game Boy, Alpha to the B button, Mode to start, the Graph variable button to select, and the arrow keys to the D-pad. Any of these controls can be remapped in the TI Boy CE control options if you want. To change options or settings in TI Boy CE, you can press the clear button to open the menu. To save the emulator state, use store, and to load the state, use LN. To exit TI Boy CE, press the on button. 
If everything has gone according to plan, you should now be playing a Game Boy or Game Boy Color game on your calculator. If something didn't work for you, make sure that the ROM you're using is for Game Boy or Game Boy Color, and not Game Boy Advanced, or try repeating the steps before what went wrong. If you still can't get it to work, be sure to leave a comment on the video, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching the video, and if you found it helpful, consider subscribing to support the channel. This has been Tiny Hacker, and I hope to see you in the next video.